I think it's so funny that this little guy is in the Princess Peach Showtime ad. You could tell some marketer at Nintendo was like, wait, 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 it's for boys too. Yeah. Hi everybody, Luke Butterfield here with Gaming Graded, the channel where we give games a letter grade. Coming at you today with a review for Princess Peach Showtime. Released March 22nd of 2024, Princess Peach Showtime is the princess's first outing since Super Princess Peach in 2005. Super Princess Peach infamously had the princess solving puzzles and completing combat by using her emotions and crying, which is just hilarious. So as we go into Princess Peach Showtime, the bar is pretty low. And because of this, my expectations were realistic. I mean, Nintendo has been on a roll recently with Tears of the Kingdom, Mario Wonder. So they had my attention. And this is Princess Peach's first game in 18 years, so that's inherently interesting. But ultimately, going into Princess Peach Showtime, I didn't expect the game to change my life. Or did it? Let's discuss. So, what is this game? What is Princess Peach Showtime? Princess Peach Showtime is an ability-based platformer like Kirby, with some light puzzle solving thrown in. The game is all about Princess Peach saving a playhouse from the evil sorceress Grape and her Sour Bunch. Princess Peach uses various play costumes to solve puzzles and defeat enemies. Based on the costume you are wearing, you get different combat and puzzle solving techniques. This is a lot like Kirby, as each costume plays differently from the last. Much like the other Mario games, you complete stages and collect stars to progress. Once you complete each area's four stages, you then can pay up your stars, fight the boss, and progress to the next level of the playhouse. Levels are centered around using costumes to defeat enemies and progress. Each of these 10 costumes have unique abilities. So for example, Ninja Peach uses stealth and has dash attacks, whereas Cowboy Peach has a lasso and grapples enemies and throws them at other enemies. These levels are centered around one costume at a time as you defeat enemies and collect stars. In total, there are 30 levels and five bosses as you progress up the playhouse's five floors. And that's really it. I mean, the game is very simple. So that's an overview of Princess Peach Showtime. Let's start with the negative. Let's start with the bad. Princess Peach Showtime feels like a first draft, where a lot of the ideas here are interesting, but ultimately pretty half-baked. It was a mistake to center these levels around one single power-up. Across the entirety of the game, you get 10 total costumes. And the issue with this is these 10 total costumes aren't strong enough or well-designed enough to center entire levels around. They're very one note. By the time you complete one level with that costume, you've seen all the mechanics that costume has to offer. By the end, the gameplay is just so samey and predictable because the costumes never evolve. You never get new abilities for them. And it's worth noting there are some bad power-ups here. Out of the 10 costumes here, only about six of them are actually fun to play. Structuring entire levels around one costume highlights how bad the bad power-ups are. This leads to you feeling stuck, as you have to complete levels with power-ups you hate, and you know the next 5 to 10 minutes within that level aren't going to be very fun. A great example of this is the awful detective costume. With this, you solve a mystery by completing puzzles in the environment. What this actually amounts to is you mindlessly scanning the environment for clues. The problem with this costume is the puzzles here are either brain dead and easy, or they're so hyper specific you have to think exactly how the developers thought as they were developing the game. This detective stuff is bad, but it's even worse when you have to do it multiple times across multiple floors. Let's do some math. With only six good costumes, and four of them being terrible, you end up with 12 out of 30 stages that are not fun to play. 
On top of this, the level design here is very bare bones. All you do is you fight enemies going in a straight line from right to left. I mean, there's really not a lot going on with the levels here. There's barely any platforming, and what is here is very simple. You're not going to have any trouble completing some of these platforming tasks. On top of all of this, Princess Peach Showtime is short, but somehow it still feels too long. The game runs out of ideas. I'd say the game is about eight hours long, and around hour four, it really just runs out of new things to show you and to do. It starts to feel very samey around that four hour mark. Power-ups become repetitive, the level variety runs out as you've seen all the power-ups. Frankly, the game doesn't have enough ideas to support its already short runtime. Look, we need more short, fun, playable experiences, but this ain't it. On top of this, Nintendo's stubborn refusal to include any difficulty settings really hurt the game in the long run. What you get is a game that's very accessible, but it's so easy it's brain dead. Look, I'm not stupid. I get that this is intended for younger audiences. This is going to be someone's first game, and that's great. But for longtime Nintendo fans, this continues the trend of a game being so easy it ends up ultimately hurting the final product. I think about Mario Odyssey and Mario Wonder. These are great games that would be better if they had a difficulty setting to make it harder. Princess Peach Showtime also struggles with this as it's so easy it's just boring. I truly believe if Nintendo wants to make good on their promise for games for all ages, they need to start including meaningful difficulty options in their games. Honestly, the most damning thing I can say about Princess Peach Showtime is I felt nothing as I played through the entire eight hour run. I just sat there stone-faced as the game really never impressed me and didn't show me anything all that interesting. But it's not all doom and gloom. Let's talk about what works here. Let's talk about the good. I will say the power-ups I like here are good. Some of my favorites are Kung Fu Peach. You get to do some fun fist fighting combos as you beat up enemies. Cowboy Peach. The lasso is super fun and you can grapple objects in the environment and toss them at guys. And Mighty Peach. This is Peach with super strength and you can throw buses at people. It's super satisfying. The combat also has that Kirby beat em up charm that I like. Enemies are pretty easy, but you get to do some fun combos that feel meaningful as you're running through the stages. All in all, the combat here is extremely simple, but I do think it's fun. There are also some pretty cool set pieces here. It's stuff like riding a cowboy horse to chase down a train, fist fighting enemies in space battles, riding the great wave as Ninja Peach and then jumping off of it, running along buildings, jumping back on. It's a lot of fun platforming. I do think these set pieces add a little bit of variety here that make the game a little bit more memorable. Adding to this, the boss fights in Princess Peach Showtime are a lot of fun. The boss fights here are centered around one intuitive mechanic that you pick up pretty quickly. They're simple but satisfying, much like the combat. And the final boss fight has this massive scale that I was not expecting. I mean, Princess Peach has her Super Saiyan moment. Following this line of thinking, the presentation here is pretty exceptional. You have some strong art direction that helps to carry the game. Each level being a stage play leads to these awesome level designs where there are obviously fake props on stage that you're walking through as you're beating up enemies. It's too bad Nintendo's never done this with a Mario game before. It'd be super cool to have a Mario game where the levels were stage productions and you platform left to right and finish the level by going off stage. Oh well. And let me just say, you know Nintendo brought their A game with the soundtrack. It has this jazz vaudeville flair to it. It's easily my favorite part of the game, as these tracks are sticky and they get in your head. They also do a cool thing here, where as you complete stages and defeat bosses, you get to unlock new dresses for Peach. I quite like picking out the dresses. But ultimately, the thing I respect the most about Princess Peach Showtime is this is a game that will get people into gaming. I mean, look, I have a lot of problems with it, but the game is charming and it's very accessible to a lot of new players. I can easily see younger kids having a blast with this. The game is very simple and easy to play, and it's a great way to get your head around a controller for the first time. You get a lot of fun, flashy abilities too, and I think Nintendo wants to try to get young girls into gaming with this game, which this is a smart audience to go after as women are playing more and more games as the years go on. But... They're indoctrinating young women to be filthy gamers, and I won't- 
Princess Peach Showtime is a promising first draft of what could be a future Nintendo series. But the princess's second solo outing really struggles as it tries to find its identity. Bare bones levels, lame power-ups, and repetitive gameplay mar the otherwise charming experience. The game does have some good boss fights and solid presentation, but ultimately I felt nothing while playing the majority of Princess Peach Showtime. The game is this easy, mindless experience that just left me bored. If you have kids, I'd recommend this wholeheartedly. It's something fun and easy for them to play, but ultimately I think adult Mario fans are gonna be disappointed here. Princess Peach Showtime. I'm feeling a D on this one. Remember, this channel is a collection of bad opinions. Love what you saw? Hate what you saw? Drop a comment down below. Let's discuss. Remember to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Videos are always coming.